I first got to meet Adam, I actually actually was the person who uh, helped hire Adam. As I was looking for a J-High pastor, was it four years ago? I think four? Four years ago. Uh, I remember the first time our first pseudo-interview was Skyping. He was in Wisconsin. And pulled it up and talking, and I was talking to all these different guys, and something stuck out about Adam. And what has what, what it is, is if you had hung out with Adam, and you know Adam, you know this guy believes ministry that he's the real deal, he's truly called by God, and uh, he loves Jay Hires, and his goal is to see junior hires come to Christ in a new radical way. And uh, if there's anybody who's not only worked hard, but earned an ordination, it's this guy. He is relentless in trying to reach Jay Hires. It's our privilege to be able to do this. Dan, why don't you talk just for a second about what the significance of ordination is. What's so uh, powerful, Adam, this is a moment where you receive a lifetime ordination. When Adam comes on staff, as we have others that come on staff, we actually commission them. When they're commissioned, they do all the things that a regular ordained person, but today what we recognize is a lifetime call. We are saying today, as a church, that we're behind Adam. That when we lay our hands on him, like was laid on Paul and Silas, there's this moment where, where the, as elders, as leaders of the church, we say, this is a moment where we recognize God's calling in Adam's life. And that we want him to follow in that calling wholeheartedly. And he has our stamp of approval. He doesn't have to come back every year. We don't have to commission him every year. He now is a lifetime leader. And this is pretty powerful. It's a significant time for you, Adam. This is a big deal. I know your family's here as well, Adam. Are they, would you just have to stand back there? I'm going to have you guys uh, come up in just a little bit, but you'll get a chance to talk about it. So Adam, I want to read the, the certificate that you're going to get today. This uh, certifies a lifetime ordination of Adam Wilson. This is to certify that Pastor Adam is duly ordained by Gold Creek Community Church as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He has completed all studies and met all requirements of this body for recognition of such office. Further, by right of ordination this date, he is duly ordained to perform all ministerial functions without limit as accorded by the laws of the land and in compliance with the ordinances of God's holy church as set forth in the Holy Bible. We now pray for God's divine blessing and power of the Holy Spirit upon him given the 24th day of August, 2014. We want to pray for you, so let's step down here. Adam, if you'll come down here and join us. And who, here's who I want to join around Adam. Let's, let's bring his family here. And I'd like every junior hire that's in the service to come gather around Adam as well. You need and board I, members who are here as well? I would like every board member and leader to come and to join us as well. We could be right here, Adam. Right here. So those uh, board members that are in the... And our leaders that are here, if you come. There's Marianne Kaufman. If you come. Awesome. Now here's how we pray, kids. You don't have to actually lay your hands on this young man. You just have to put your hands on someone that has his hands on it. So what I want you to do real quick is I want you to just lay your hands on you in some way or another. I'm going to ask two or three different people to pray for him. Brian, would you start? And then Larry, if you would pray, and then I would ordain.
Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to look at him to you. Lord, it's an honor to be able to ordain him in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Pray that your Holy Spirit would fill him, empower him, and send him on the course for the most amazing ministry days of his life. Thank you, Father God, for this opportunity to lift him up. Protect him, give him strength, give him wisdom as he continues to pursue you with his whole heart. Lord Jesus, you stirred deep in the soul of Adam years ago the desire to become a minister of God. And even today, Lord, I believe you're stirring in the soul of some that are in this room that same desire. But I'm grateful today, Lord, that Adam has followed through, has done what you called him to do, and prepared himself through education and experience and come to this point. He's recognized by the leaders of this church. He's gone through all the process of this moment. So now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we lay our hands on him, believing today that he's ordained, that he's your minister. And we pray, Lord, today that you will help him be able to live in a way that will be an example to others and that his credentials today will reflect integrity and that today as he finishes and as he thinks about this day and as he thinks about the future I pray that his life will be finished and his credentials will remain clean the entire ministry I pray this in Jesus powerful name Jesus Well, I've got great news for you. We have cake <laughs> outside. And to kind of end the service, I tell you what, can you just sing a couple deals of this? Let's just celebrate a little bit. And if you guys are around and you know Adam, this is a good time for you to come and just shake his hand. Good chance for you to do that real quick while we sing this last song. Just a couple of stanzas and we'll dismiss.
It's great worshiping with you today and celebrating what God is doing and knowing the best is yet to come. Would you go forth this week, the power of the Spirit, and we'll do it again next week. We'll see you again. You're just going to see it.